Do you want to know how to merge different immunofluorescence channels on ImageJ? You came to the right place. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to BioInfoTips. Today, we're going to learn how to merge immunofluorescence images using ImageAge. This technique is essential for visualizing multiple fluorescent signals in a single image. Merging immunofluorescence images allows you to combine different fluorescent channels such as green for GFP red for RFPIFPI and DAPI into one composite image. This is crucial for analyzing colocalization and interactions between different markers. First, let's open ImageAge. If you haven't installed it yet, download it from the official website and follow the installation instructions. Now open the images you want to merge. Go to File Open and select your different color channel images. In this tutorial, we'll use two ADAP iron green channel staining images. Next, we'll merge these channels into a single composite image. Go to Image Color Merge Channels. In the Merge Channels dialog box, you'll see options to assign images to different channels. Set the green image to the green channel and the DAP eye image to blue red channel. Leave the red channel empty if you don't have a red image. Click OK to merge the images. After merging, you might need to adjust the brightness and contrast to enhance the visibility of the merged image. Go to Image Adjust Brightness slash Contrast. Use the sliders to adjust the brightness and contrast until you achieve the desired visualization. Click Apply when you're satisfied with the adjustments. Finally, Save your merged image. Go to File Save As and choose the desired format A, G, P, N, G, T, I, F, F. And that's it. You've successfully merged your immunofluorescence images using Imagey. This composite image will help you analyze colocalization and interactions between different fluorescent markers. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more science software tutorials. If you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below. See you next time.